Hello ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, my royal people. How you guys doing today? I got my very first Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. It's actually a double battle. Double battles are a bit more strategic than single battles. And he takes out his Pokemon to fire types. And I bring out my Gastrodon, which is water and ground, and my Rotom, which is electric and fire. His nine tails brings on the drought, which makes the sunlight really hot and boosts fire type attacks. He switches out. Bring in his Zapdos in, which is probably a good idea because I do have a water type on the field. And then he decides to Mega Evolve, so I'm thinking, okay, that's that's fine. I scout, I was looking around, I see that the Charizard is the fastest, or was the fastest when the Nine Tails was out. He does a Dragon Dance, which boosts his attack and his speed. But it's all fine, you know, because I decide I'm going to Thunder Wave him, and that slows him down, and it gives me a chance to paralyze him for certain turns hopefully I get the the RNG is on my side so I do the sculpt and I get the burn and I don't and I'm not sure if the harsh sunlight boosts the probability of sculpt burning but I got the burn RNG might have been just on my side he does a heat wave which isn't very effective but it did get boosted in the sunlight the power of it got boosted and um, he does a com I do a confuse ray on the Zapdos because I want him to smack himself in the face. I already paralyzed the um, Charizard, so my goal is to do confusion hacks and paralysis hacks at the same time. <laughs> but unfortunately, my Gastroton, my what? My Rotom, sorry, got gets hit and it drops. But it's fine because my Rotom did what it needed to do. So I was okay with that. So I decided to bring out my Gengar, Mega Evolve my Gengar, bring out my Mega on the field too. And his ability is Shadow Tag, so now he can't switch out any of his Pokemon as long as my Gengar is on the field. I do a Dazzling Gleam to hit both of them, but I also thought that Charizard X was weak to Fairy because of his Dragon Typing that gets added when he Mega Evolves. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So I decided to stockpile my second stockpile, raising my defense and special defense. And Gastronom is a defensive wall. So you got to get those stockpiles up and he will not go down. It will be really hard to take him down. Then he gets hurt with the Rocky Helmet, his Charizard, because my Gastronom is holding a Rocky Helmet for extra damage. If you hit him, you will get hurt too. So I do another Dazzling Game. I finally take out the Zapdos who kept smacking itself and getting hit with the burn every turn. That's my third stockpile, third and final stockpile. And the Charizard is just about dead. Hopefully, you know, he gets more confusion hacks. That's what I was thinking. And which was the case, the RNG guys were on my side when it came to that because that Charizard kept getting up paralysis hacks. So <laughs> I switch out because I do not want my Gastrodon getting hit by a grass type move because he is four times weak to grass due to his double typing of ground and water. And he puts my Gengar to sleep, and I'm thinking, not that's fine with me. I get more paralyzed hacks on the Charizard. His Venusaur does the growth to raise his, um, I think, attack, I believe. Yeah, and his special attack. The Gengar wakes up immediately, so he didn't even really sleep that long. And I know my opponent was kind of pissed about that, but Gengar is a beast. He's like, man, I ain't got time to sleep. I do the Psycho Cut. This Venusaur is not living that because of the stab. The psychic typing stab from Gallade, and I'm fully invested in attack. He was not living that. The Nine Tails comes back in, and that's when he forfeits the match because he knew he wasn't gonna win at that point, and that gave me my win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more Wi-Fi battles on my channel, just let me know, and I will upload them. Have a nice day, guys.